What up? What up? What up? Bad, bad podcast. Oh, How you doing, Papi Chulos? <laughs> 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 Welcome back to What Up. Welcome back to What Up. This is a podcast uh, on the podcast. You get it. With we have alongside us, we have me, Kevin. Hello, Kevin. Hey yo. And the thick Matt. Hi, thick Mac. Hey buddy. Hey, buddy. It's Matt. And the bottom right yellow corner that is Adrian, and then Jin on the avatar, yeah. the wife we avatar. What's up? What's going on, guys? What's How's it going? How's it going? I'm trying to find a shirt that way I can <laughs> video Sorry. chat with y'all. They might not show off your six pack. I know. No, I'm a... bit, not, I know. I, no, me- no. I messaged him. I messaged him earlier, like, hey, on private message. Ah. He said, hey, he's is like, he... uh, can I get a little war in that machine? <laughs> okay, so let me explain. I know I put Kevin was laughing, making fun of me about it. The reason I, I, I made a big old thing about no swearing is because it's just, uh, you got people at my ear, you got Facebook in my ear, got marketing people in my ear saying, if you want to be partnered, like eventually build up being partnered, you don't, you, you don't want to like, you don't want to stray too much. But like, I'm like, I'm not trying to censor y'all. That's not, that's not the goal. Cause I hate being that teacher, you know, like, Oh no, do this, you know, being a carry, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. No, follow, yeah, follow. Whatever, I'll follow whatever rules uh, uh, you need us to follow. You know, it's, just, it's, it's not just an so issue. Weird. It's not the issue. Some people, bro. <laughs> For sure. For me, I'm well, over this way. For you, you're this way. For me, so. Okay, so you're that. Nah, way. it's this guy. Yeah, it's really Kevin. <laughs> that guy, that, that guy say, right below me, bro. This was, guy right below. Me. We gotta be careful with him. I was. I will say, Jin, man, the manga stream, like we just do, man, Jin, Jin, <laughs> Jin let it fly, Jin, like, let it fly, like, <laughs> oh, no, we lost Jin, oh, no, we lost Jin, oh, what up, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> damn, back, what up, what up, bro, what up, <laughs> no, what up? Just... damn, sorry, man, hey, flex if we get more views, Adrian, flex if we get more views, what, <laughs> Number. Keep it PG, man. Oh my god. No, but I, what I was saying is like, man, because you say Jin, like you're more like reserved, but like Among Us, it was just fuck, 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 fuck. It's like damn, like he just he let it loose. Like, I was like, shit. I panic. Yeah. Man. Jin goes off, bro. Dude, yeah, man. that was my bad. No, no, it's all good. It's all good. I'm bad. I'm bad. It's all good times, man. It's all good times, bro. It's all good times. Hold it. Hold it. Yeah. It's but uh, okay. So I'm sorry. Continue. Go. Okay, I was gonna say. So, Jay, what part of the Philippines are you from? Because like, <laughs> I guess like we're a big Filipino show because I saw like the analytics, the numbers, and it's like we're like yeah, all the views come from like the Philippines, and our second biggest city other than Harlingen is I think a city called Davao City in the Philippines. Davao. Yeah, Davao. Davao. Yeah. What part of the Philippines are you from, Jen? Uh, Northern Luzon, Baguio City. Where's that at? Like on a map. Northern Luzon. Google it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> Google it. Right. Uh, I'll look. Uh, I'll look. Shoot him a DM with with the right, how do you with spell the that? longitude and latitude. How do you spell that? <laughs> hold up, hold up. I'm gonna send it. Oh, oh he okay, is. Okay. I okay, don't. I can't see it, so because I have y'all recording, so. Oh, okay, okay. 
Well, it's easy to find us. Like literally, the bottom, the bottom tip of Texas. That's that's it. That's it, bro. Yeah, right. Yeah, that's, that's, that's it, man. That's it. That's where we're from. <laughs> that's where we were all born and raised. At least me, Trey, Thick Matt. No, yeah, Thick bro. Matt. No. Yeah, I think. Were you? Yeah. Nah, I'm yeah. originally from California. We, I moved to Texas ah. like when I was 16. You're probably the problem, yeah. man. Nah, just kidding. Hey, dude, I, I am. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, there. It's in the general chat. Ooh. Okay, I got. I can't say it because you know I'm recording the whole screen. Um. Damn. <laughs> so what time is it over there in the Philippines? Like. I'm, I'm gonna have to start learning Philippines. It's eleven seven a.m. So it's morning. That's on the morning. Yeah. Yeah. It's... Sounds about yeah. right. On the other yep. side of the world. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah. yeah. Wait, shouldn't you be in school at this point, Jin? No. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, Wait, so you're in school now? Are you at school? How old? Are you? Uh, no. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, Jin. How old are you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm 13, bro. You're 30? I'm 13. 13? 13. 13. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, one, three? Bro, yeah, 13. one, three? Yep. I did not know. Bro, you should be in school. <laughs> Get out of here. No. <laughs> I don't have classes today, so I'm free whenever. Yeah, he's free. Okay, okay. Wait, is it because uh, of uh, Christmas break? <laughs> yeah. Long extended Christmas break. Christmas. And our classes are oh, really? 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. since we only use Zoom meetings. So oh, wow. we have two subjects right now math and thinking. <laughs> your hair is on point, bro. Yeah, your hair is on point. My hair is all messed up. Like, like, bro, if if he were to suit up in like a male sim outfit, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not doing that. <laughs> So, hey Kevin, so, where are you, man? It's so dark where you where you're at. Um, I'm sus. in the backyard. I'm outside having a uh, a candy <laughs> stick. Oh, okay, okay. Like I was yeah. telling Kevin, I was so telling Kevin when I first again, started. Now, go ahead. <laughs> every now and again, if you see me go off camera like this, it's because I'm uh, taking a bite out of my candy stick. <sighs> yeah, me too. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> 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 I'm trying to. It's like, so it's like night and day, right? right? I was, I was telling, I was Man. telling Kevin before we started. Like, I knew, like, as soon as I posted that in the Discord chat, everybody was gonna jump at me. Like, oh, okay, okay, guy, okay. I knew immediately no, no, I was no, gonna no, go. No, I knew no, immediately no. he was gonna talk about that. them big time. You, you're reaching that big time shit uh, stuff, so. <laughs> what do you so, mean? <laughs> what do you mean? You're getting big, bro. You're getting big. Yeah. So you have yeah. To be careful with the words you say and the things you do. That's the one of the downsides with popularity and fame, you know. Yeah, a lot more eyes looking at you. A lot more uh, reasons to get in trouble. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah, a lot more people are more interested in what you're doing wrong than what you are doing right. Yeah. Yeah, I get you. That, that, that's that, just how it rolls. That, that's how anything rolls. Even social media, even, you know, even... Social media, politics. Even social uh, life, like, yeah. The, the media, arts, industry. That's how everything rolls. Yeah, everything rolls like that. But... I mean, where, where did, it, uh, it, 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 if there's rules, we'll, we'll oh, follow them. You know what I mean? Yeah, for yeah. for you, Trey. Yeah, but like, I'm not trying to be like I don't know. I just it's hard to like put like tone in text. Like I just, I'm not, <laughs> like I'm not like I'm not being like oh this is the rules and this is what you gotta be. And, like no, it's just like hey, the rules? yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know, thick man. What are you doing, boy? What are rules? <laughs> You see, it, it's funny because you bring up rules because uh, I was talking to a friend the other day and uh, we were talking about rules 
And Mm -hmm. I was like, the way I see it is rules are more of guidelines of what you probably shouldn't do and what's (laughs) frowned upon. And then there's just straight up breaking rules where obviously it's illegal. So, well, so I was like, I don't, I don't break rules. I bend them. I interpret them the way that sees fit to my, you no, know, advantage. Kevin, you break them, Kevin. You break them. No, I bend them, bro. All of the them. time, bro. You break them. <laughs> uh, Name they're... one time, bro. Name one time. Here we go. Stories. This is why I wanted you guys to like, okay. All right. Okay. First, Let me get a list. Okay. But, <laughs> okay. There's one story I want to know. It's, it's one story I want to know very recent. Okay. But don't say any names, Matt, but like, okay. So can you go further detail about you having oh, two girlfriends, two girlfriends at the same time? Oh. <laughs> 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 All right, let me get a drink for this. <laughs> yeah, I, I was that. <laughs> I was blown away. I was like, "What?" He's like, "Bro, they didn't." Yeah, dude, I couldn't decide, so I picked both. I was like, "Okay." <laughs> <laughs> Big Matt is my spirit animal. He's the reason why I want to have a uh, harem. <laughs> I felt so bad because like Matt looked so uncomfortable. <laughs> Uh, he doesn't want to talk about it. Let's, <laughs> let's change the subject. Okay, okay, never mind. Let's just prove it. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Okay. Oh. Right. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. First of all, yeah. Wait. When we talking about about buffaloes? When I took those two girls, or about oh. the two girls in high school? No. <laughs> Another one. Damn. The- you're on the roll, man. <laughs> hey, Big Matt, we're talking about the two girls back in high school. Ah, uh, legendary stories from back juice. in the days. I've got my candy sticks. I'm good to go. Okay, man, let's hear it. Well, I mean, it wasn't hard, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Said like a true okay. player. Hey, Jen, it's not that hard. You know what I'm saying, Jen? It's not that hard. You get two girlfriends. It's not that hard. It honestly isn't. You like, just have like, to woo two girls like, at two separate times on the same day. Okay, explain, Matt. Explain, Matt. Sorry. No, no, no. It, it wasn't hard, bro. I mean, one <laughs> okay. was a, one was a like a, how can I say it? One was a weird girl, I guess. <laughs> And another one was normal. <laughs> what do you mean? What? <laughs> yeah, you know, one's weird girl, one's normal. So I said, you know, it's like mixing okay, sweet uh, and sour, okay, you okay. know? Well, <laughs> well, okay. Well, Kevin knows what I mean. Like, we had some weird people. Okay. Oh, yeah. Well, but we don't. Please educate us. Okay, okay. Let me put it to you this way. Let me tell, uh, real quick as an interjection, a quick story about one of the weird girls that I dated but ended up losing her mind after we broke up. Okay. Okay. So we dated for about a week. I, I liked her, but she ended up breaking up with me. The reason why she ended up going out with me in the first place was as a joke. Air quotes. She didn't oh, actually. Oh man! Like, broke my heart because it was my first date. It was my first girlfriend. Anyways, so a few years later, back uh, in high school, <clears throat> I see her again, and I'm glad <laughs> we broke up because she wasn't the most appealing person, and she was climbing trees, <laughs> chasing squirrels. What? What? Wait, what? wait, wait. like literally, what? like. Like, what? Like, what? Yeah, in the school ground. You're not joking. You know exactly who I'm talking about, too, Big Bad. Okay, you're so not no, 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 no. <laughs> so say you're saying names. don't say names, but are you saying you literally saw this girl climb trees and chase girls? I mean, did she go to a different class? Yeah, yeah. Like, was uh, kind of she she would chase cats too. Was the bus he rode in kind of small? Or... Uh, let's just say the elevator didn't go all the way up to the top. <laughs> <laughs> Big Matt's losing his shit. Wow. <laughs> He's just 
<laughs> He's crying, bro. Okay, okay. Oh. Anyways. Okay, that's how crazy some okay. of the women down there are. Big Matt, continue. <laughs> Oh, no. Trey. Yeah. Trey, I, I'm crying, bro. Why did you tell me that it was easy to get two girlfriends at once? Are you saying I'm single? Because I have a girlfriend. I mean, well, to be fair, one, I don't really you judge Big Matt because I almost poured it off, too. I, I wasn't... It wasn't a trick at you, Jay. I was just saying in general, you know, trying to, like, sarcasm towards Matt. But damn, man. Oh, is I'm loyal to one. I'm loyal to one. Right. There you go. That's what I'm talking about, Jane. We need more of that. It's too thick, man. You need to learn from Jane over here. Here's the thing, though. I don't really okay. judge. Okay. Big Matt, Matt, no reaction. Right? Okay. Because... <laughs> 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 Just really fucking no reaction. Just stone face. <laughs> 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 so, 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 uh, sorry. Okay, go on, Matt. I'm go sorry. on. Go on, bro. Yeah, go. Oh man. Uh, okay. Okay. I I did get busted twice. But because <laughs> we are mutual friends and um but that was it. I mean other than that it's it's cause they have first of all they had the same lunches they did, right? Well yeah. that was hard. That was hard. <laughs> so like did you sit I remember so, him seeing uh, I remember <laughs> seeing him on my way to one of the classes. He was running down the main hallway and I was like, Where the fuck where are you going? So and he's like, get to the next girl <laughs> and he just runs off and I'm so, like, bro <laughs> So so you went to you went to Harlingen, right? Not South? Yeah. Okay, so they had the same lunch. Was one girlfriend of yours inside the cafeteria and one was out, or...? The majority of the time, yeah. Um, I would have to lie a lot, saying that, hey, I'm going to go to the restroom, <laughs> take, like, 15 minutes, and then go back. <laughs> you know what I mean? The restroom. <laughs> play it, play all, man. Jeez. Yeah, dude. Yeah, so, man. It, it, it was, it was tough, man. His, his lies were cheap. I, I, I got busted once, one time during lunch, because... I kept using the same excuse that I had to go to the restroom, I had to go to the restroom. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm pretty sure no. she was thinking like, hey man, like this guy has bladder problems or something, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> so I so I go to the restroom, right? But I was meeting the other girl. Mm -hmm. And uh I thought it was a good spot because uh by the library, like people sit there, right? Like right, right in front of the library. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I know oh, exactly like, where you're I was like, that's a about. perfect spot, bro. Like, it's a perfect spot. You know what I mean? It's mm -hmm. far away from the caf from the cafeteria. <clears throat> so I would meet with her there. Well, little did I know that she was walking towards the library and one of her friends pointed me out saying that I was with another girl. Damn. So she she turns <laughs> around. Turns around, bro. Makes a big old scene. I don't know if Kevin remembers. Made a big old scene. I remember. Bro. Made a big old scene. <laughs> I remember. And uh, I told her, I was like, hey, man, like, chill out. She's just a friend. And uh, the, oh. the other girl goes, what? I'm just a friend? And I was like, Ooh. yeah, you're just a Well, yeah, you're just a friend. You're the friend. <laughs> Ouch. Now, was this the oh, weird man. one or the normal one that you told her you're just a friend that, to? That was the weird one. And, Ow. Uh, yeah. And I, I remember had, all I that told, crystal clear. I Wasn't my, there a fight? Uh, there, oh no, there was almost a fight. Almost. <laughs> like between uh, the girls? Yeah. Between the girls or like you? Uh, no, the girls. The girls. Damn, Damn man. No. Damn, fight it. Fault, bro. I'm starting to feel bad more for the girls than you, man. <laughs> how, yep. how is it not your fault? They're fighting because of you. It's like, oh, it's not my fault, bro. Hey. It's, it's they had their, no. It, it's their fault because her friend shouldn't have been nosy, bro. <laughs> no, come on, man. <laughs> That's clearly your fault. So, I love the logic. Matt, I love the logic. I don't. I don't know if I ever told you, but I almost pulled off the same thing as you, except on a grander scale. Please do tell. Do tell. 
<laughs> Do tell. Okay. I want to hear this, bro. I want to hear it. Okay, so <laughs> I can't really name names. I can't really remember when this was. I think I was 17 or 18 at the time. And I had just started dating this this uh, girl. She was real cute, real pretty. And she had a rather long nose for her face, but I didn't mind it. And, okay. and so we had started dating. And <clears throat> for a Christmas gift, I had decided to ask... Uh, Dimas, one of my really, really, really great friends, like he's he's a brother I wish I had. Wow, Matt. Okay. Uh, replace, to, replace. to see if <laughs> replace Matt. No, Big Matt, you're you're the brother I do have. But anyways, <laughs> <laughs> he's leaving. He's gone. He's gone. Yeah. <laughs> no, okay, so so I asked him if he can loan me two hundred dollars, and he loans it to me because it was around Christmas. Okay. And uh, I went and bought her a promise ring. You know. Yes, yes. I was young and dumb and full of uh, inexperience. <laughs> anyway, so I had I had bought her a uh, promise ring. And a few months later, like, she was one of those uh, bipolar chicks. Where she's happy one minute, then she's trying to gouge your eyes out with a spoon a second. And I think... Big Matt just found out who I was dating at the time. Because <laughs> I saw a girl like this. Was it called Latina, but by anyways, the way? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, ain't that the truth. But uh, anyways, so I'm, I'm still a churchgoer at this point. You know, I go to church every now and again. Not as often as I used to, but... What the uh, so they were having this event uh, for, for Halloween <laughs> Sorry, we had sorry. almost been together for a year. <laughs> Anyways, so so I end up signing up to go and volunteer there. Okay. And uh, while I'm volunteering there, I end up meeting a really, really cute girl from Westlaco. And so we started watch hitting out, Watch out with those. Numbers. <laughs> no, no, no. She was actually really cool. She was really cool. This is kind of one of the moments that uh, I, I kind of regret, kind of, not really. Okay. <laughs> but uh, so me and her were hitting it off. We were hit, hitting on each other, flirting. And, you know, things were starting to get serious. And then my girlfriend at the time was like, hey, I know you've been working here. How about we both go together <laughs> on your day off so that we can have some have a fun time you know like a date and i'm like in my mind i'm like this is a bad idea but at the same time i couldn't really say no to her because she was a pushy woman mm -hmm. and so i was like all right you know what fine and so we end up going and she ends up going through my phone at the time i had a flip phone and i didn't have a screen light <laughs> <laughs> you know, like most rich smartphone owners have, and all yeah, that. Yeah, the razor. Yeah, the razor. Uh, no, I can't remember what type of flip phone it was, but it was like a cheapo, cheapo flip phone. But uh, anyway, she goes through my phones and sees like texts from her, from that other girl, and she's like, "Who is this? And why are you texting her? And blah blah blah." I'm like, oh my god, I'm busted. I can't even lie because I, I don't like lying. <laughs> like, oh, I, what? I can't. No. It's not. You that were lying from the get go, man. You were lying <laughs> from the get go. And so I was like, that's a girl that I met here. We've been talking. <laughs> I didn't say as friends. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but I said, okay. uh, we've been talking and, you know, staying in touch and she loses her crap and just like walks out then and there <clears throat> unlucky for me the girl i had been talking to was about 20 feet away watching the whole thing go down <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> i was like oh this hurts <laughs> ouch <laughs> but that's uh. my experience with uh, trying to double date Bro, that's why you never give a girl your phone, bro. 
Bro, I didn't give her my phone. She took it from me. Because I was talking to uh, one of the administrators of the event. And uh, my phone went off. And she's like, who's that? And I pull it out and I look to see that it's from my dad. And my dad was calling, but I was in the middle of an important conversation with the administrator. And so she, I'm holding up my phone and I guess she decided, she thought I was trying to give it to her to answer it. And so she takes my phone, she answers the call. She's like, oh yeah, your son's with me. We're at this event, blah, blah, blah. Okay, we'll be safe. I'll let him know that you called and I'll tell him to let you know when to pick him up so that he, he can go home. And so she hangs up and she starts going through my text. And I'm like, uh, by the time I'm done with, uh, with the conversation that I was having, I looked back and she's already like, oh, I'm going to kill you. And I'm like, oh, God. <laughs> Damn. How did she get my phone? <laughs> nah, I'm, uh, I can't double date. It's, I was gonna it's say, too much Adrian, work. Have you, have you ever double dated anybody at the same time? Or nah, man. Uh, I hate it when it's being done to me. So why am I gonna be a hypocrite and do it to someone else? You know what I mean? Like, yeah. here's the thing. There's a I, 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 I can only handle one. I can only handle one. You know what I mean? So. You know, no double dating. If I'm dating it's someone, it. it's just, you know, Hashtag my full commitment loyal. to that one person. Hashtag but loyal crew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even if it's not serious or even if it's, you know, I just, you know, I just don't want to go through the trouble of hiding my phone, hiding this, hiding that. It's too much secrets, man. One lie leads to another lie. Yeah, it's, it's too much. Too much work, man. I don't even lock my phone anymore, man. Like, everyone knows my password. So, I mean, here's the thing. Here's how I see it: is that give a shout out to Matt. If it's not a serious relationship, I Pull don't up. feel like you're Pull committed up. to them, and I feel like you're open <laughs> to other relationships. You know, so building saying, bonds with other people. So you're saying? Well, yeah, you gotta have that talk. Let, so me, let you, me put it to you this way: you're, it's perfectly you're, fine for millions handsome playboys to go out there and date multiple women at the same time and then pick one at the end but for someone as broke as me to go out and do that i can't do that <laughs> what do you mean bro? i'm so the lost in that explanation the what, what about the bachelor? About. Uh, that's not even real though it's all fake bro <laughs> it's beside the point the fact that women watch point. that you watch The Bachelor. I don't know why you watch The Bachelor. No, I don't. I, I only know of it. <laughs> but my so point more, stands. Your point is you're more of an open relationship type of guy. Open relationship uh, type of guy. Yes. Yes. Hey, it has to go both ways, though, doesn't it? Yep. <laughs> like, for me, I don't have you a got problem it, with hey. If a girl I walk up to or if a girl walks up to me and says, hey, I'm looking for an open relationship, do you why are you looking for one too? I would be like, hell yes. I don't that would understand. Be cool. I don't understand that. I, feel, I just, my brain is exploding because, in my head right now. Because you get all the pros of being in a relationship, but none of the cons. Oh, you're in a bad mood? Go and hang out with another one of the other guys you're chilling with oh my. or oh, man. oh you're in a feisty <laughs> mood <laughs> come on over here oh bro that's that's terrible bro that's terrible <laughs> yeah <laughs> it is it is man you're, you're on your own I'm on this one bud you're <laughs> on your own on this one bud i'm not helping you bro i'm not backing you up Hey, hey, hey. I'm, oh. saying, I'm not looking to put a, fig, a rig on this figure anytime soon well, same, same, same. Yeah, but y'all are young, right? We're all young here. Got the youngest, Jin, 13. Uh, yeah. Oh, I forgot Jin's, Jin's 13. 13. Big Matt's like 26. <laughs> hey, Jim, what he's, is... He looks like he's going on his 30s. <laughs> hey, Jim, oh, hey, Jim, bro. Hey, Jim, what? You look uh, like the, the American equivalent of wait, Jin. Wait, 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 hey. uh, so I has a question for Jin. Hey, Jim, what is your take on Kevin's logic? On just everything, <laughs> I want to hear oh, your so take. It's my logic. 
I don't understand a single thing. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank okay, you. Yeah, same, 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 same. My logic, if I'm not the one that developed the open relationship status. The open relationship, sure, I understand. But the others, nah, my brain is blank. Thank you. Thank you. We well, see, yeah. I, I see I bought the car. Well, I, just, I just gave it to everybody else because, you know, I pay for it. But I just bought the car because, you know. So Bro, basically, I am pro-open relationship. That's so all I'm you're, saying. An Uber driver for open relationship, basically. You know what I'm saying? That's what you're saying? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I just mean... You're the postmates mm. of relationships. You know what I'm saying? That's your type. I, I mean, I suppose. Happen from one to another. I don't understand why, though. Why would you want to bring all that on you? You're more inclined to get stabbed. Hey. That's what I'm saying. Get your cart. Yeah, here's the thing. It's because I'm not looking for a commitment. I'm not looking to settle down just yet. So it's yeah, like yeah. Yeah, trying that's... to build a relationship with not a, an interpersonal relationship where it's just me and them. You know, so you mean like friends? A productive relationship, an actual With benefits. Thank you. Thank you. That's what I want. Okay. I mean, with benefits. That's all you have to say, man. That's all you have to say. <laughs> You went all but no, the way around instead of just going down the street. Here's the thing. I, <clears throat> I have an interest in getting to know people. So oh, Making friends, yeah. Yes, exactly. Well, I like having female friends. <laughs> Minus the benefits. I mean, having the benefits is nice. <laughs> It's nice. Don't get me wrong. So what do you roll up? But like, hey, my name's Kevin. Let me stick it in you. Yeah. But hey, let's go to dinner. To hey, town. <laughs> <laughs> it goes to what does she like? What What is she good at doing? What does she enjoy doing? And how can we both benefit from what we're both good at doing? Okay. I, like, okay, so... <laughs> By your logic, it's like saying, hey, I like having friends, you know, okay, it's fine with that. Having friends that are girls, opposite sex, you're like, but if I have friends that are girls, you know, obviously I'm going to fuck them, you know, obviously I'm going to sleep with them, because, you know, why else would we be friends with a girl? That's what you're saying. Well, no, 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 <laughs> no, definitely not. Okay. You're losing us, man. Every woman has value. Am I the only one thinking that? <laughs> and... I, no, I was on the same boat. Has yeah. value, and <laughs> if I see that that value can benefit not just only me, if but them as well. If I was your PR well, person, I would have told you to stop talking. You're just digging. <laughs> you're just digging. You're digging yourself more into a hole, bro. <laughs> no, it's just that I've I've got that mindset where I want to make use of not only my skills but other people's skills. I mean, <clears throat> like I was telling you earlier, skills, not in bed. Okay. <laughs> Why does your mind keep going to the gutter <laughs> thing that's dying? Because you keep insinuating that. You can't say, hey, I like to make no, interesting people. No, how am I insinuating you? Hey, it's mind out of the gutter. I'm <laughs> not insinuating anything, bro. I'm being honest. Like, Around if I wanted to say, hey, you know what? Right. Yes, right. sleeping with a woman is nice. That's a pro. But yeah. <laughs> getting to know them, obviously, not only emotionally, but what mentally, that's what I like. Is, oh, hey, you like this thing that I know nothing about? Teach me. Hey, you're good at this that would totally fit with what I'm studying and what I'm doing. Awesome. Would you like to help me? Or, oh, I'm good at this and you need help with this. I'd love to help you. Okay, you know? so just a regular friendship. Just, yeah, just a regular know. friendship. Just a regular yes. friendship. But I'd like to get to know them on a level where I can call them like I call Big Mac at any freaking given point in time. Friendship. And be like, yeah, yeah how you know? That's just, that, that's, that's, that's just, that's just a friendship, friendship man. No, that's, that's best friends. That's that's brotherhood, right, Big Matt? <laughs> <laughs> so you're like, hey, I met a girl. We're cool. She's very interesting. I take her out to, I take her out to dinner, but I tell her at the cost is I'm not gonna stick it in you, but we're gonna cuddle. That's late at night. That's what it is. Uh, actually, <laughs> for me, it'd be more like 
we're not going to, I'm not going to take you to bed, but the cost is you have to tell me what your interests are, what you're good at, and what we, what I can get out of you. Yeah. That sounds so because bad, dude. My mind is stuck in business mode, so I can't turn it off. Like, if they're useful, that's awesome. If they're not, I'd still like to be friends with them, but, you know. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Not spend too much time on them. I know that that makes me sound so fucking shallow. Excuse my language. Well, it, 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 it really isn't shallow. Uh, if, if you guys both have an understanding that, you know, it's nothing but friendship, you know. Yeah. Hey, you know, go, uh, go all out. You know, just friendship. Talking, talking about your interests. Um, that's not an issue, man. That's, that's not, yeah. That's friendship, yeah, bro. No, no, that's the, that's the issue is as, as healthy as it gets. After I get asked out, and I have to tell them no. Yeah, just tell them no. Yeah, yeah. there's no. Yeah, and, there's and no issue there. Hey, yeah. and avoid me like the plague. Then it wasn't a friendship that was meant to be. You know what I mean? Yeah. You can't, you can't fight it. Honestly, I, mean, I, I feel like I'm only being used for my looks. <laughs> yeah, you're pretty, you're pretty sexy, man. Ah, uh, thank you. You're sexy too. <laughs> bro. Uh, thank you, thank you. I want to nip one them muscles, though. <laughs> <laughs> Please slap. I'm sorry, Dick Matt. And, <laughs> Big Matt's just over here dying. <laughs> <laughs> but like, the like, yeah, he's just like, what do I even say at this point? <laughs> it's like, just say, it. like you're saying, friendship, yeah, friendship. But you're just like more like, I don't know, bro. It's just <sighs> like my brain legit hurts trying to understand you. Yeah, you're 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 reading you're reading too much into the friendship than what it's really meant to be. I mean. I it shouldn't know. be it's that cause... that much of a. It's because I've always had this mentality where it's like when I meet someone, the first question I ask myself is, "Can they be useful to me?" And then I instantly categorize them, <laughs> whether they're useful or not. Oh my god! That's a that's shallow, bro. <laughs> Terrible, but it's, it's something. Guy, like okay, doing. this podcast is service change intervention. So, who's first? <laughs> <laughs> this is the intervention. Of Kevin's Kevin. first. Kevin, why do you no. do the things that you do? Why do I do what? Why are you like this? Why are you like this? Why are you? Like this? I don't know. I I honestly can't say that I know. Yeah, you uh, do, bro. I, you know, I blame bro. Big Matt. <laughs> you, you just don't want to tap into it, bro. That's what it is. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I did have a bit of a reputation to be a bit cold-hearted. And, like, I didn't care. So, I mean, that could attribute to it. In the ducks. In the nine ducks, sir. Yes. You, you, think, you think you're doing... Things along the lines of, uh, I'd rather do the hurting than get hurt. It could possibly be that. Yeah, I mean, possibly. That's understandable. I that's mean, understandable. Fair enough. Fair enough. I mean, I mean how would but, you guys feel if, you know, your first girlfriend comes up to tell you, uh, I'm breaking up with you, this whole thing it was just a joke? I mean, that has happened. Mm, I when think, I was, yeah, when I was, that, that when would was, bum me out. But uh, that's. That's code. When I was in eighth grade, that did happen. Like, I was two twenty. I was two hundred twenty pounds. She dated me <laughs> as a joke, cheated on me <clears throat> during the last school field trip. Everybody knew about it. I was laughed at, laughed at at the bus because everyone pointed out they knew that the only reason she dated me because it was just a joke. Fast forward to uh, fast forward to freshman year. I was motivated the entire freshman year to lose weight, drop. I went from 220 to 160 that one summer, Ooh. just nonstop, nonstop. That was just that anger. Oh, shit. dude, I know exactly what you're talking and about. And then that freshman Big year, bet. freshman camp, after that first period, I walked, I saw her, she met me. She was just like, oh, well, I'm sorry to move for your high school. Let's hook up. And so I'm like, bah. 
I know exactly actually, what you're talking about. That's Didn't actually that one of my motivations when I first started working out. Yeah, so, yeah. so my redemption story was uh, freshman year, I was about almost 200 pounds Stick of pure fat, chunkiness. <laughs> Big Matt remembers this. <laughs> that's why you looked up. <laughs> no, because I said Big Matt's asleep. <laughs> And I had, uh, I had uh, <laughs> that whole year in JRTC, and I lost a bit of weight. And, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to keep up this uh, workout regimen until the start of the next year. So over that entire summer, I did nothing but Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. I did nothing but push-ups, sit-ups, pull-ups, yeah. mile runs. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and yeah, all this other stuff. crazy stuff. And then on Tuesdays, I would go swimming. And then... <clears throat> uh, Good cardio. And then by the time I got back my sophomore year, uh, I got into my first class of the day. And no one looked at me at all. I sat down at my desk. I had long hair at the time because I never bothered to cut it over the summer. And uh, when they called my name, I was like, here, and uh, everyone just darts their head towards me, and they're like, what? And I'm like, what's up? <laughs> kind of freaked out, like, oh my god, what is up? everyone what trying up? to kill me or something? <laughs> and they're like, bro, how'd you get so skinny? And I didn't even realize that I had gotten skinny, because I had worked out so much that I never took the time to look m at myself in the mirror. Yeah. So, by the time I finally decided, hey, you know what, I'm going to go use the restroom and look at myself in the mirror... I looked at myself in the mirror and I was wearing wearing baggy, baggy pants that no longer fit me <laughs> with a belt strapped around my hip and this massive T-shirt that was just like, holy hell, like, all right, it's time to go get new clothes. <laughs> and that's that's uh, that's honestly a good feeling. <laughs> uh, yeah, it definitely is a good feeling when you lose so much weight and you get so muscular that no one recognizes you. And it's just like, yeah, that's right. I, I did you. it, boys. <laughs> that's like the <laughs> pinnacle of pride right there. Yeah, because you're, man. Yeah. Like, I don't I'm think I'd ever like... been more proud of myself. Yeah, man. Shit's crazy. So, but, like, on, on that, so, like, what? So, like, to Adrian said, like, that's what he uses motivation. So, like, what motivations, like, y'all have like now like what is your driving motivation since we're kind of on the topic uh for me now uh i'm already over the body issue you know how i look uh you know i'm actually happy with myself right now yeah so at this point i'm working out you know because it's, it's a stress reliever you know yeah, yeah. I, I like going and just empty out my thoughts at the gym come back home feeling fresh you know and and you feel accomplished you know like like you go home and you can check you know check that thing off the list you know what i mean mm -hmm. i i went to the gym i felt good you know it it's it's one of the things i can check off the list you know even if a lot of things went wrong that day or so, a lot of things that went right that day yeah. at least i have that you know check checked out you know what i mean yeah you know, that's, and it's a, it's a positive, you know, yeah, yeah. it makes me feel good that at least a portion of that day went right, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I get you. Yeah. Jim? Uh, huh? You go to the gym, Jen? <laughs> no, uh, uh, I, I did want to ask, that was a great question, Trey. Uh, I did want to ask uh, Big Matt, what are your motivations? Well, honestly, man, I mean, just the same thing, bro. Just stress reliever, but mm -hmm. I don't go every day, bro. I go, I go just to stay the right amount of strong. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah no, yeah. 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 But I don't, I don't do it to lose weight, bro. I don't do it to lose weight, um, because I know. I know people have a path. You know what I mean? People make fun of you because of your weight and all that, and blah, blah. Yeah. 
Right. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, and, and, and I get it, bro. You know, I'm pushing 360. I'm a big guy. You know, pushing 360. And uh, and I get it, bro. I get it. But uh, honestly, man, I mean, I, in my opinion, I don't care about my size, bro. I don't. Yeah. Yeah. You know? It's uh, it's more my. I'm confident, bro. I'm confident, so I don't care how I look. Honestly, I don't, bro. Honestly, sometimes don't. That's, that's good. No, that's, yeah. That, yeah. That's good. No, I, I love that feeling. Yeah. The confident feeling that you know. Yeah, bro. That after the gym, it, it feels like you're you're confident. You know. Yeah. I thought being know, conf- being confident is better than like being more jacked. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Oh, definitely. Yeah. It goes further. And, and it goes, goes further. a long way in terms of getting things done. Yeah, you know, and and there's there's nothing wrong with you know losing weight. You know, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just, and for me, it's just uh, it's not the weight that I'm worried about. You know, <laughs> I'm not worried about anything about that. But what motivates me to go, you know, is uh, is work, man. Work, mm-hmm. you know. Works, yeah. work stressful, bro. It, right now, right now, especially yeah. these past four months, bro. It's it's been stressful for me, and uh, I've been going to the gym, bro, just to burn it off, you know. Because, right, I I have a temper, bro, and if I don't go to the gym, man, I would have blew up. At <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can lose your mind. One hundred percent. Yeah. yeah. No. But yeah, bro. I mean, that's mostly what motivates me, bro, to go to the gym. At first, it was to go to lose weight. Mm -hmm. But then I was like, why am I going to change myself just so I can be accepted by other people? You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And uh, so I stopped going to the gym to lose weight. I mean, to not lose weight, I started going because I just wanted to stay strong. Mm -hmm. You know? I I just wanted to keep... I just wanted to keep up my size, you know. Yeah. Like, yeah. Uh, like, like, uh, trying to trying to lean <laughs> three hundred. You know, you know what I mean. Like that lean three hundred plus. Yeah. I not not to lose most of the fat, just to uh, I guess converge to m- more muscle. You know what I mean. Turn yeah. it into muscle. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Be yeah. more solid. Be more solid. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. There you go. But other than that, I mean, that's it, man. I mean, at first, it, at first, it was about appearance how i looked to everybody else that's how it first started for me Mm -hmm. and then i changed my way of thinking and i just wanted to do it for me you know Mm -hmm. yeah and then work kicked in and then i was stressed at work so no man forget it bro forget it yeah but i mean it didn't there wasn't a time that it didn't cross my mind where i wanted to lose weight you know, because everybody says, oh, man, you know, girls are not going to like you because you're a big guy, you know. Mm. And uh, and, and I get it, you know, girls have preferences, blah, blah, you know. Yeah. And not just girls, my health, you know. Eventually, I'm going to have to lose weight because I can't be 300 <laughs> plus all my life. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. But as of right now, I feel fine, man. You know, my body doesn't hurt. My knees don't hurt. You know, I thought it would because of my weight, you know, my size. Your body gets tired of it, you know. Yeah. 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 But right now, I'm I'm not feeling pain right now, man. I don't feel aching on my knees. I don't feel tired, man. I feel, I feel like if I'm tray size, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. But... But, uh, but no, I mean, other, other than that, I mean, I feel fine, man. I mean, I did have motivation, mm-hmm. but now I really don't. I just go just to just do it, you know? That's that's what I like about working out because uh, the, the goals can branch out to different things uh, mm-hmm. once you want with yourself, yeah. you know? Yeah. You know, some do it for stress relief, some do it for health-wise, some do it, you know, to uh feel better about themselves and it goes on and on but yeah like you know i'm gonna be straight up with you guys i've never been to a gym oh when you come down to the valley you're going to the gym i'm taking you no 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 (laughs) do you realize how out of shape i am i'm still thin yes but 
I, I can't run with the jack, bro. I couldn't um, run either. a block to save my life. Like, if a zombie were chasing me and Big Matt, I'd rather shoot Big Matt in the leg and leave him <laughs> in the game. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. okay. Before we get too far, Jin, Jin, what motivates you, Jin? Same question. About what? Going to the gym? Oh, no, just everything. Just in general. Like, what would the question? Like, what just motivates you? Because, you know, you said you're... What makes you feel good in the end of the day? There you go. Thank you for that. Makes me feel good. Cause um, I'm I play guitar and I've played in a lot of our school's contest singing contest. I sing oh, that's in awesome. guitar and it feels great to hear the cheers from the crowd after you finish singing or playing and playing a song. That's yeah. what yeah. will keep going and going to play my guitar, sing. That's I'm, that's what I'm happy for. And I how long support, have I've how long have you played? Oh, sorry. How long have you been playing guitar? I mean, uh, since I was eight, my oh, wow. my grandpa wow. has been teaching me since he's a professional guitar guitar player. Nice. Damn. Hey. Nice. Oh, oh, my oh, there he is. Come back, come back, come back. Sorry about that. Hey. Hey. Uh, honestly, back. though, my my favorite song. It. I don't think it's Beethoven. I just listened to it, okay, guys. I I'm not a big classical type, but it's uh, Moonlight Sonata. Moonlight Sonata. That that piece is one of my favorites. Symphony Number no. Nine. You like Symphony Number Nine? There you go. There you yeah, go. yeah, from Die Hard. <laughs> <laughs> Have you listened to uh, Moonlight Sonata? Bro, it's it's got like an eerie, calming feeling to it. Like it makes you feel like something's going to happen. Cause but you're sus, guys, your king the sus. End, it never does. No, you're king sus. Piece. King sus. I love it. King sus. Trey, you're king sus. Why am I king sus? <laughs> How am I always king sus? <laughs> you always get sus. Um, always. you always get you get you always get imposter. <laughs> That's sus, man. That's really sus. Nah. Explain yourself. <laughs> I called him. Is someone playing Among Us right now? <laughs> I heard it. <laughs> Big Matt, you playing Among Us right now? No. I, I heard it, bro. No. Bro, he totally is. I'm He's not, on I'm his not, computer I'm right not. now. <laughs> nah. <it's like> <laughs> we all know you're not using your phone as a <laughs> webcam. You're no, not. No. He's not gonna do it. But like Kevin, when you were when you when you were talking. I saw Thick Matt pull up this jug. He saw it was on camera. He, he slowly put down this jug. <laughs> <laughs> no comments, Thick Matt? You'll see it. What are you talking about? What was that jug? What are you talking about? That jug I saw you bring up. What jug? Where? I'm going to highlight it. <laughs> Bro, reach down below your seat and pull it up. We, we, both, we all know it's there. Bro, <laughs> basura. Basura. There it is. There it is. There it is. <laughs> so I thought I thought that was cranberry. Is that cranberry? I was about to be like, oh, ocean spray. Yeah. Yeah. There he is. There he is. Yeah. Ocean spray. Jeez. Now you gotta listen to uh, Fleet, Fleetwood Mac. Fleetwood Mac. There you go. Yeah. So, so what I missed, uh, just a, just a recap, because we're gonna we're gonna wrap it up right now. Um, uh, so, Jen, Jen plays guitar. I has a Jim motivates, motivates and piano. Piano, Jim. So we got a oh, and piano, piano, yeah. That's crazy. And yeah. he sings. And he sings. So we got a full musician over here. Jesus, damn. Yeah. What's your excuse, Kevin? What bad bad? Yeah, straight up. <laughs> the what? I said yeah, straight up. So. Any ending thoughts, Kevin, guys in the room? Any ending thoughts when we wrap this up? Mm. Uh, Bro, not really, man. Like, <laughs> <laughs> um, everything was laid down on the table, and we Good talked cause. about a lot of good subjects, but this is fun, oh, man. Oh, you oh, should oh, invite oh. me more often. Yeah, same. I got, <laughs> I got some parting words. I got some parting words. Oh, okay, okay. Because y'all failed to ask me, but I'm gonna tell you anyway. Here my motivation is spite. <laughs> yeah, 
we got that. I do everything I do out of spite. But oh. okay, fine. I'm gonna open. I'm gonna open this kind of worms because, like, okay, look. Okay, do you, that's not really sustainable though. Anything out of spite, like before when I moved up here to Austin, I, I was I had that same mentality. It's gonna be spiky, spiky. Because the entire time I moved up here, I just always told I'm gonna fail and I'm homeless, not gonna make it. From people that were close to me, people were like I will go to like the point with like these the group I hung around with. They're just basically the time came to we got super drunk as as you do at parties. And, you know people are super <laughs> drunk. You know that's when like honesty starts to come out. You know it's like it's like fuck. So I was like damn. Yeah. And I, the more I realized I was up here, it's like that can only take you so far, but it's not gonna go well. You're better off just finding that internal motivation like Adrian has and the thick Matt has and just like being okay well, with, with everything and just like because that's gonna take you further you know what I'm saying in the long run it's like yeah it's like, it, like it's like, like it's like Rizzo buying a with... sports car or a sedan sure a sports car flashy and nice but you're gonna get higher on insurance you're gonna get more yeah. you're not gonna be able to do so much with the sports car a sedan is gonna benefit you in the long run versus short term if you know what I'm saying yeah. yeah. Well, well, for me, what I mean by spite is like everyone's gonna tell you you can't do it, but for me, it's more like let me try and find the words for it real quick, <laughs> because it, it's it's complicated, guy. Okay? So so what I mean by spite is yes, obviously, when someone tells me I can't do something, I'm going to do it just to prove them, prove to them that I can, but in most aspects of my life, it's more like I'm doing it out of spite for myself. Like, if I think I can't do it, I'm gonna be like, all right, time to nut up and, you know, get stuff done to prove yeah. to myself yeah. Yeah. that yeah. I can do it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you, you have a challenge in front of you. You, you, you need to get past it, you know what I mean? That's, that's life, man. Yeah, and I, I get past it through spite. <laughs> Way to bring it all nah, back. Nah, not a spite, man. <laughs> Way to bring it all back together. I'm going to do it because screw myself. That's how I do it. No, no, no. You do things out of spite, you get to, uh... You get to, uh... You get to, uh, stuck into that subject, you know? If you're doing things out of spite. Any last words Any before last words? I have to, you know, hop off and throw my phone on the charger so we can, you know, call it a night? No, not really. No, not really. I don't really don't have any. Jin? Jin? All I'm saying is it was nice knowing y'all. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, it's yeah, good. It's good to know you, man. You're not going anywhere, so it's, it's, yeah. especially Kevin. Especially Kevin. He has a he has a cold heart in the nine duck server. Yet, I have no words. <laughs> uh, so he said, like, "Yeah, I get it." Okay, here's the thing. Here's no, the thing. no, 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 you're colder. I, I you're colder. No, 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 no. <laughs> Next podcast, we'll do this again because I love the four. I love this. It's fun. Bottom line, yeah, it is. It is. <laughs> Next time around, we'll get into why. Kevin is just colder and he let Jen down because he's just colder than he thought he was. <laughs> Till the next episode. Until I'm next down. Episode. I'm Until big down. Episode. Until next I'm episode. down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely. All right. You guys take care. All right. Yeah. Take, it take it easy, guys. Take it easy.